Today we'll be interviewing random people on the streets of Austin and breaking down their finances, seeing how much they bring in a year and what debts they have. Make sure to check out all the fun links in the description and give this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people. This is Audit on the Street. My name is Adrian. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. And, uh, and how old are you? I'm, tw I'm 33 years old. Nice. Are you visiting Austin? Yeah, I have a job interview uh, tomorrow. Really? What's yeah. the interview for? So it's for a, a lab manager position. Uh, so I flew all the way over. I I'm, I'm working as a research scientist right now. So uh, it seems like a good opportunity for me to come over here to Austin and check it out. That's really cool. Well, best of luck on that interview. Thank you. So you said you're a, uh, I'm sorry, say what you do again right now? So right now I'm a research scientist. Okay. I, um, I work for a company where we introduce bacteria to cement, uh, well, to bricks, and essentially we uh, create cement using the bacteria. So it's like a safe alternative to uh, carbon uh, the footprint with uh, the building materials. So it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a really fulfilling job, but nice. I'm always looking to see other opportunities, see what else is around. You know? What is making you consider the change in career? Uh, so it's not too much of a change because it's still in the lab, so it's similar, but uh, it's, I'm always looking to improve my situation and also learn as much as I can. There's always things to learn, there's always ways to advance your knowledge, and this is the best way to do it, you know. Put yourself out there, go forward, and see what you can learn, you know. And what do you bring in a year in that current position? What do I bring in a year? Yeah. At my current job or? Current job, sorry. Uh, so being at the, being there for a year, I've uh, done a lot of final product work where mm -hmm. we have, I test all the commercial products that come out. So we do, you know, compressor strength, flexural strength. We test the organic matter that's inside the brick material. We test. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant like annual salary for that current position. Oh, annual salary. So I make um, ninety thousand, a little bit over ninety thousand. Does that get that gets you pretty far in Raleigh, I assume? In Raleigh, right? yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for something higher here because the Austin, the cost of living is just so different between Raleigh and uh, mm -hmm. Austin. That's crazy. So. What would this new position pay? Do you think? I'm hoping 140. Ooh, cause, big cause, jump. Yes, uh, and that was a big jump for my last uh, position as well. I went from 50 to 90, well, well, 50 to 80, and then I got a raise to 90. So jumping here would be like a similar increase, but you kind of have to to live comfortably in Austin because it's just so expensive here. Yeah. Do you have any student loans for <laughs> what you're doing? Okay. <laughs> How much? I do. I have over sixty thousand right now. Okay. Not, not too crazy, but still, it's it's it, it's difficult. You know? Those all federal, or are there any private in there? All federal, fortunately. So they're on deferment. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If none of them are forgiven. What is your plan to attack those student loans? Uh, I've, I've set up a plan with um, to find a financial de department over there to pay it slowly back in 30 years. So that means I'll be paying the debt until I'm 50, 60, you know? And that accumulates interest more, too. Absolutely. I'm happy that right now there's no interest right now, yeah. but that's, who knows, that's, that's probably going to change, right? So why did you decide to do that plan versus the traditional 10-year repayment? It's, it's not feasible. Um, you can't make a living trying to pay such a high uh, monthly rate. Even though I make 90000 that's a lot. I do have a lot of debt, mm -hmm. and also accounted for is the federal debt to student loans. So paying that off in 10 years it's just it's just a lot like you know it's it's it's, it's a lot to do in 10 years so if none are forgiven you feel the 30-year plan is going to be more doable for you i think so yeah slowly pay it back do you have any card debt Car credit card debt uh well we can do credit card yeah do you have any credit card debt yes i do I how have, much i can tell you the total debt i have so i have 150k total oh, debt. across all debts yeah okay yeah uh i assume some of that is a uh, car Car, vehicle. Yes. Okay, how yeah. much is the vehicle? The vehicle is twenty thousand. Okay. So I'm paying that off. Um, what's I think it's like a six, no, five percent interest. It's not uh, terrible. It's not terrible. Um, how, but how long is the loan? Five years. Five uh, it's, years. It's now my um, second year paying that off now. So. Okay. Yeah. And the credit cards. Uh, what ended up happening to get into the place where you have the card debt, the credit card debt? Obviously, student loans make sense, but. 
So before uh, I got my job, I made a lot of um, decisions, risky decisions on moving. Uh, unfortunately, you have to fork out a lot of cash when you want to move somewhere, uh, mm -hmm. especially if a company's not willing to relocate you. Um, so I had to pay a lot out of pocket to, to do all that. And not only that, but sometimes um, when you're when you're low low on ink, when you're low on uh, your monthly uh, bills and you have almost nothing left, sometimes you have to resort to using credit cards to pay your car. Uh, you know, if something happens to your car, it's a thousand dollar cost. Like you know, it's unforeseen cost that's always seemed to just jump on a credit card. You know? Do you feel today that at the end of every month you have barely anything left? From time to time, yeah. Where do you think all that's going? Uh, well, it's going to all my debt. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, most of it's going to my debt. And then I, uh, I also try to plan as much as I can, but it's difficult to um, sometimes think ahead when, when you're accounting for costs of gas, food, all that stuff. So it, it, all, it all comes to proportion. Are you at least meeting minimum monthly payments on everything currently? Yes. Okay, yes. good. And do you pay extra when you can? I, yeah, so uh, there's there's a book that I read somewhere where it said if you want to pay off your debt the fastest, start at the lowest debt that you have and focus on that one debt, um, forking the most of the cash you have over that one debt, and that's how you get. Was it Dave Ramsey? Off. I'd have been. <laughs> that sounds like a Dave Ramsey baby step. Yeah, baby step two, baby smallest step. steps to largest steps. Yeah, yeah, it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably the total money makeover, I think. I He has a lot of books, I don't know. He does, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's making all his money off of books. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what is, so is that your plan then when it comes to paying off the debt? So you're doing smallest to largest? Yes, uh, that's that's definitely the main plan for sure. Um, I plan to just t uh, deal with the smaller payments first, whatever is the smaller balance, get rid of that, and then work my way up towards the larger balances like the car. The car obviously being 20000 is one of the highest. Besides the federal, we're, we'll, we'll put aside the, the federal student loan because that's really high. but. If you pay off the card and all you have left is just a federal student loan, then it's easier to, to pay that off. Like you know, um, but still, ho hopefully, I can I can do that before 30 years time. Okay. Yeah. And when you do move to Austin, because you're going to get this job, because you're going to kill the job interview <laughs> with the extra fifty thousand dollars, you're going to get a year. Obviously, there's going to be a little increase. Well, there's going to be an increase in rent. Of course. Yeah. Is are you still going to try to live off of what you're essentially living off now and then throw all the extra at the debt? Or what's yeah, the plan there? That's, that's the plan right there, to, to throw whatever extra I have on the smallest balance I have just so I could pay everything off and be debt free. I mean, that's the dream, right? Be debt free. Be debt free and be in a good spot. That you can open up your business, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're free to do whatever you want. If you had to look back when you were going into college, would you change anything versus the, you know, the student loan debt that you took out now or maybe cash flowing? Community college, you know, whatever. Yes, I would, uh, I would definitely have invested more. Uh, growing up, I was never taught to save money. I was never taught to s spend it wisely. Sounds like a classic American household. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if, if I could, I would have invested smartly in the stocks. I would have you know, put some money aside, uh, spent more smartly instead of do all the partying that I did in the past, you know. <laughs> but uh, everybody, everybody, everybody does it, I guess, you know. Do you have any general emergency fund? No. Is that scary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and that's why uh, I'm looking for a job that pays higher um, so I can actually start getting that savings in, you know. I have zero savings. Zero, all across the board, no retirement, no nothing? Nothing. Oh, wow. So like the 401k match that was probably offered, you just weren't taking? I actually had to uh, take some of that out. Oh, no. Why? Uh, unforeseen consequences of my car, stuff like that. Ah, so, dang. Yeah. yeah, it's tough. I'm sorry. Yeah, that sucks. Mm -hmm. So what are your financial goals? Five, 10, 20 years? Well, I, I want to be a millionaire at some point in my life. Um, I figure if I can break six figures in, in Austin, maybe one day I can do a million, right? Uh, and even, they say even today, a million is not that much, but it's enough to live comfortably, I say, so. And it's a, it's, it's a good goal to hit, you know? And without a goal, how does anyone make any financial sacrifices in order to get there, right? Absolutely, if you have no goals, how do you move forward? What do you, how do you know what you're doing? Yeah. So, 
you get that $50,000 pay raise, how long until all your debts are gone? I would say maybe three to five years for a guy's small debt, maybe more, uh, if I get this job. If I don't, maybe that 30 year plan is looking, looking similar to what I'm saying, so. Okay. Yeah. And if you had to give one key piece of, fi of financial advice from everything you've learned over the years to the audience, what would it be? Uh, save money when you can. Um, don't don't splurge on anything that looks like fun. I mean, yes, have fun, but also be smart. You know, invest in stocks, invest in anything you can that makes sense. And um, you know, but yeah, again, have fun if you can. Let them know what you think about their financial situation in the comments below and make sure to give this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people. A special shout out to my four Cups of Coffee supporters, Dio Martinez, Mark, Josh Bennett, Anthony, an anonymous supporter, Sam B03, Clayton006, Tyler Chong, Drew Smith, and Timothy Williams. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks.